Hello guys and welcome to this Grease Pencil tutorial. I saw this poster on last Saturday's pro-life demonstrations in London. I thought this was a great design and I wanted to reproduce it in Blender and also to do a quick animation. So let's start. Here we are in a 2D animation template. Let's go here and change resolution to 1080 by 1080 to have a square camera frame then i want to import my poster as a background to the camera so i go here i drag my image to blender release here on the camera frame and we have this and you see that it is stretched now to fit the camera frame i will select my camera but i can't see the settings of my camera so i go here under edit unlock object modes select again the camera Go here under uh, object data properties, click on it, go under background images. And here we have some settings, including this frame method. We will go with crop and now we have our star in the middle of our camera frame. We can also choose to put the image on the back of our strokes, the strokes that we will draw or on the front. And we can change the opacity. I will change it to one for now to pick some colors from the image. And then I will select my stroke again. And you see that I am still in draw mode. So to pick the colors, I will first enable color attributes. I will create a new palette. So add new palette. I will name it watermelon. Enter. I will add first a white color. Just decrease the saturation and hit this plus button and then i will select my eyedropper and here i choose instead of material palette so that the colors i pick are added to the palette and then i pick this red and this green and also this gray here let's select our drawing tool again and check our palette and you see that we have new colors populated here now let's draw a triangle and to draw a triangle we need to use the circle tool you either go here to the subdivisions and change this number to 1. And 1 means 1 plus 2. So if you see here 94 subdivisions, it means that the circle has actually 96 vertices. Or we can start drawing our circle. And it's not visible for two reasons. First reason is that our background is in front. And also its opacity is 1. So let's turn it to 0 0.5 again. And the second reason is that the color here is white. So let's turn it to this dark gray. And again start drawing our circle. Call. let's make it a perfect circle by hitting shift and then you can use your mouse wheel turn it down and see here in the bottom this number here until you get to one now you click on your middle mouse button or you hit enter and you have your triangle then we go to edit mode tab we do a to select the whole triangle and we should rotate it a bit so that this line becomes horizontal and for that it seems that we need to turn this point like a third of the fourth of the circumference of a circle that means a twelfth of 360 degrees 360 degrees divided by 12 is 30 so we need to turn it 30 degrees let's do r for rotate and y to rotate it on the y axis and that means the axis that goes from front to back so again r y and then you type 30 on the numpad and you hit enter let's go back to camera view zero and we have a perfect horizontal line here then we can move it with the g and you see that in the poster the line is not actually horizontal but well we will try to make it fit this other triangle so let's resize with s move with g and we can select one point from here and move it with g so that it fits this line here but be careful you need also to watch this line so that you don't get far from it. So watch both lines and try to make it fit. Now we can go back to draw mode, tab again, and we will draw an arc here. So let's select the arc tool. Let's change the color to white. And let's also change the caps from rounded to flat so that we don't get a round cap outside of our triangle. And let's try to draw the arc from here. So left click and drag to the other edge. And now we have these points, the yellow ones and the blue one to adjust our arc. Maybe it's better if we did it with a dark color. Let's do escape. Let's choose a dark color and then we change color to white again. Okay. Nice. Adjust this guy. And then we can resize it with F. And drag the mouse. Now middle mouse button or enter. Let's go to edit mode again and let's zoom in to this line let's select the edge points and try to fit it to this line here g and you see that this cap here will rotate when you move this point so try to fit it here 
and do the same here select the last point and like this and we can change the color to white now just do Control tab and choose vertex paint mode then we select this button here so that we can select the strokes we want to change color and this stroke is already selected go here and select the white color we can select it from here or we can select our watermelon palette select white from here and then we go to paint set color attributes and voila now we can adjust this edge further back to edit mode tab we actually should wait and adjust it after we fill the triangle so let's go back to draw mode control tab choose draw mode and then we select our fill tool we select a fill material and we select our red color then i will also select my fills layer so let's do y and hover over the fills layer and then release y and then i can click once click twice to fill select my green color and again go here one click two clicks and voila now back to edit mode try to select the black triangle let's do Control l to select all the points of that triangle and then do xd to delete it and now i want to adjust again this white line i think i'm gonna hide the camera to hide the background and i'll also change the background the world background here under here to something dark and select my stroke again two men and see if i can adjust this point again you can hit shift to make your movements slower and more precise then again to the other side select g shift move and adjust this side and this side it seems to be fine now let's unhide the camera again and now i want to add the seeds you see here that the seeds seem to have been drawn by hand but we will do the easy and lazy method and add the seeds here and then duplicate them with the array modifier and then we can either use the noise modifier to add variation or we can also edit in sculpt mode and add more variations to our shapes so back to draw mode control tab draw mode let me select the draw tool again let me select i think this brush maybe increase the size a little bit f and try to draw some seeds i'm just drawing with the mouse now i can go to the modifiers panel and add an array modifier i will disable relative offset and i will go to object modes by hitting this pencil here and then i can go to the viewport and do shift a to add an empty and i select my stroke again and go to my modifier again under object offsets i enable it then expand this and select my empty now i can rotate the empty to rotate the duplicates created with the array so we we'll need six instances each one will rotate a six of 360 degrees so you select the empty r for rotate y to rotate on the y axis and type in 60 on the notepad and enter and voila we have our melon star let's hide the camera again now if you want to animate the sky you can while you're empty selected do k and choose here rotation so insert keyframe or insert our rotation keyframe we insert it here in frame one but you can see it because we are in grease pencil mode where we can only see grease pencil frames so we change to the top sheet and here is our keyframe let's go to frame 30 here and let's duplicate this keyframe you can either do shift d or while your cursor is on frame 30, do Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy it here. And then back to frame 1. And here you can reset the rotation of the empty. So we do Alt R to reset. So now we have on frame 1 the empty on its original rotation. And then it goes and turns to 60 degrees and creates the shape here. Now let's have a rest of 10 frames to frame 40. So we duplicate this one. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then forward 30 frames. So we go here and type in plus 30 enter and of course we are on frame 70 now i select this keyframe and do ctrl c ctrl v i will change the end frame to 80 enter and let's try this animation very quick and very simple motion graphics animation and now if you want to add some variations to your shape let's get rid of this animation i think i will move this frame to frame 1 g and move it here and delete these frames and i can actually delete this frame too yeah we can select our grease pencil object again and we can apply our array modifier here on the arrow and apply you need to be in object mode to do it now we can add a noise modifier decrease the position increase the thickness a little bit and we can also increase the noise scale let's disable overlays to see more clearly and we can also go to sculpt mode we can for example do shift left click to smooth the corners here can increase the brush f let's enable the background again 
enable overlays and you can also try to fit it if you want to the original design by moving these guys like this and you can also go to each seed and sculpt it a little bit more to make it unique and this is it you get the idea and this is the end of our tutorial thank you for watching uh, get the file or the files i put one with the animation and one with the modifiers applied on gumroad for you if you want to study it for free thank you for watching see you in another tutorial and as always peace